tips so hot, you're gonna have to wear sunglasses from the, the brightness of them. <laughs> What's up guys, Dan here, Cold Cracker Bushcraft, so you don't have to wear your cool sunglasses for this tip, but you do wanna know this tip because this is a good one. So as most of you know, when you're creating a fire, sometimes you can't find the best small material, so a great way to get small material is to create your own. So you're gonna take a stick and then you're gonna make shavings, or if you keep these shavings on all nice and fancy, we call them feathers. Either way, you wanna make these things for campfire starting, all right? They are a great resource because you're getting this wet material out of the way and you're getting inside to the nice dry wood. But listen, shavings like this, okay? They take time, they take practice, and it is a skill that you should be working on. But here's the thing, uh, when you're first starting this, okay, don't think I'm having a hard time making this, I'm just gonna give up on it because there's an easier way to learn this process. Now the cool part of learning this is you can do it with your knife or if you're gonna go ax only, because you know Coal Cracker and all you Coal Crackers out there love carrying just our ax sometimes. You could do it with just that, okay? But we're gonna start with the knife first. So you're gonna need something to drive your knife into for this or drive your ax into. We're gonna show you both ways. In my case, I have a nice cut stump around camp, so this is gonna work just fine, but otherwise you can use the down log or anything that you could drive your knife in. Now, tip number one when you're doing this, um, we're gonna have to drive our knife in. Okay, but don't hold your knife like this and try to drive it in. If you do that and your hands are wet or slippery and your hand slides down, guess what? We just cut all our fingers. So anytime you're doing any stabbing motion, okay, even if a wild bear comes into camp, okay, your thumb is always going over the top of your knife. This is gonna protect your hand from sliding down when I drive my knife down and in. So very important with that one. Okay, so now that we're in place like this, all right, we're gonna just simply hold the piece of wood that we're gonna carve with one hand, hold our knife steady with the other, and we're just gonna draw back, just like this, creating shavings. Literally just nice and simple like that. You can get lots of thick shavings off, or if you go really light, you can see it can make nice little fine shavings. Now same thing is gonna go for our ax. We can do the exact same thing. So I'm gonna drive my ax down and in, this way, leaving some of the blade exposed. Now I can get my stick and simply draw it off along, creating some of those shavings that we need, dry wood in order to get our campfire going. So is that a hot tip or is that a hot tip, right? It's very easy and simple, but definitely an effective way to make those shavings if you're a beginner or even if you're advanced and you just wanna change it up a little bit, do this, it's gonna work tremendous for you. So give this one a shot. And then what I also want you to do is I also want you to hit like and subscribe down below. Also hit that notification bell so you can get notified when we put out new videos. And then after that, head over to coldcrackerbushcraft.com for all our classes and our merch merchandise and all of our blog stuff, all that good stuff is on there and then you can check that out also so you can be cold cracker crazy. And then uh, that's about it. So I hope everybody uh, has a good day and until next video, stay in the woods.